In this video, we are going to take a look at a few tips for how to format data in a spreadsheet so that it makes it easier to analyze and interpret information, um, particularly if you have a lot of data in a spreadsheet. First of all, one of, the, um, one of the things I'm going to ask you in your assignment that's associated with this video is to change the name of your spreadsheet. And to do that, you can simply, while you're in the spreadsheet, you can click on the current name, and that will get you inside the field to change the name. And I'm going to be asking you to put in your first and last name in here. So you can see that you can type characters right into rename the spreadsheet. Okay, so let's take a look at formatting. This is a toolbar right here, which is primarily what I would consider a formatting toolbar, just above the data. So some of the examples of things that you can do to change the formatting has to do with the, um, the type of number that you have in your spreadsheet. So for example, if I click in that single cell right there, I can change that from just a normal whole number to a currency. And I can do that one of two ways. You notice that there are some um, number formatting options right here. This will change your decimal points. You can turn something into a, a percent. In this case, I want that to be a currency. So these, these two little symbols are built right in. Now, if you want to look at the other options for how you can format numbers on a spreadsheet, notice that you can click on this little pull down menu right here, and that will give you different types of numbers including dates and times. And if you hover down to more formats, you have even more options. So formatting numbers is important. Now, you could do that cell by cell. So notice how I single clicked in that cell, but you can also do it in groups. So if I click and drag, I can do all of those together. Boom, turn it into currency. Or if you click on the letter above the column that all of those numbers are in, you can click on the currency and it's smart enough to ignore the header and do that to all of the rows underneath. So that is number formatting. Another thing that I think is important for you is um, that you have the ability to increase the width of your columns. So for example, this right here, if you want all your names to be on one line, if that just makes it easier to read the spreadsheet, if I hover between two columns, and I actually think it looks like I hit a column there because I have B and D. So we'll take a look at that as an option too. But if I hover between two columns, you'll notice that your cursor change. And now I have like a little arrow. While you have the arrow, if you click, hold your finger down and drag, that is how you increase the width of a column. So that, oh, there is that, there is that C right there. I'll tell you why that occurred in just a moment. So yeah, that is how you change the width of a column. Now, if I click and select several columns at one time, and then I change the width of just one of them, it applies that same width to all of those that I had selected at that one time. Here's a helpful one over here. Um, you can see that column I has a lot of text in it. And so the text actually extends beyond the width of the column. And no matter, I mean, I could make the column big, long, I mean, wider, 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 but it really is going to be way too wide then. Sometimes you're going to want a word wrap. So if I select this column and I go over to this area right here, which has alignment, uh, both vertically and horizontally, that's just something to be aware of. Text wrapping. If I choose this center little icon right here, I can wrap my text so that it fits into the cells. Now notice what that does. That's going to make some of your rows um, deeper, I guess you'd say. So row seven, because there's a lot of text in there and we wrapped it, that's why that is such a wide column. So that's a, something to be aware of. Let's talk a little bit about color. You notice that my header row is blue. That's because I uh, changed the color of the text. If you highlight a row, or if you single click in a cell, it's totally up to you if you select one or more cells. You can go under this icon right here. So this is text formatting in here. You can click and you can choose another color. So I could just go change that to a dark blue green. 
You can also change the color of the background of cells. So let's say that I really needed to focus on this particular set of data in column G. I might um, highlight that entire column. I could click here and I could highlight it in yellow just to pull it out a little bit. So how about alignment? So the same thing with this, if I want to center those words in there, I can highlight that column. And I think I browsed over alignment before. That's how I would center the text in that column. And if you are having trouble reading, so maybe you're like me and you are becoming farsighted, then you want your uh, text to be bigger. You could highlight, so in this case, let's say I want to highlight all these cells in row two, all the way, so I'd click on two, oops, and drag all the way down to, I don't know, as far as I want to go here. I could change this so that these are all 14 point text, and it might be a little bit easier for somebody like me to read it. So there's many different things you can do. Lastly, in this exercise, you're going to be asked to freeze your header row. What that means is that you force it to stay in row one so that if you did any sort of sorting, like let's say you were sorting from highest to lowest in column F, that that header row doesn't end up somewhere in the middle of your data. So the way that you freeze a row is you click, in this case I'm going to click on the header row, you go to the view menu, freeze, and you're going to freeze one row. That's how you freeze a row. Now I also froze a column here, and the reason why, or two columns actually, the timestamp and the your fake name column, because I want to be able to scroll back and forth and be able to line up different columns with the names, because as I read my data, I mainly want to compare it with the names. And sometimes if you don't freeze those important columns on the left-hand side, what happens is you scroll and your far left columns will scroll right off your page and can't see them. So the way I did that was to click on A and B at the same time. Then I went to View, Freeze, and in this case, I froze two columns. All right, I know that that was like a million things really, really fast. Um, you don't memorize here. You can't memorize. What you need to do over time with your spreadsheet, if you're going to learn how to uh, kill it in the spreadsheet world, is you need to just be aware that this is a formatting toolbar and you need to play and do some um, trial and error things. And you also need to be aware that there are menus with options. And so you might need to go look under it and say, hey, I know that there's something in here that will allow me to do X, Y, or Z, and just try to look for it, okay? Or ask somebody if you've spent too much time looking for help, somebody you know that can help in the area of spreadsheets. Good luck.